Hello everybody, this is Karthik and in today's video, we are going to take a look at performance monitoring in ASP.NET Core. We will focus on creating a simple middleware that can record the performance of different APIs in our application. Let's start by creating our own performance monitoring middleware. Middleware in ASP.NET Core works like a chain of responsibility. It allows us to execute code before and after our request handlers, making it an ideal place to monitor request performance. Here, we have a basic middleware that is inheriting from iMiddleware. It takes an iLogger to allow for logging. The invoke async method takes two parameters, HTTP context which is the request and request delegate which represents the next middleware in the pipeline. When a request comes in, we start a stopwatch before passing control to the next middleware. Once the next middleware completes processing the request, we stop our timer and see how long the request took to process. Now. Let's add our middleware to the pipeline by calling app.useMiddleware in our program class main method. We will create two APIs as examples for our demonstration. The first one named fast API returns a simple message. The second one slow API stimulates a longer operation by blocking the thread for 3 seconds using task.delay. Now let's run our application and call these APIs. Our middleware should log the time each request takes in the console. First, let's call the FAST API. On executing the FAST API, we can see it takes only a few milliseconds to execute. Now let's call the second API. On executing the second API, we can see it takes a little over 3 seconds due to the deliberate time delay. Now let's take a look at our console. As you can see, the fast API took only 9 milliseconds, whereas the slow API took more than 3 seconds to process. That's it. We have built a simple performance monitoring middleware in ASP.NET Core. It's important to remember that while this approach is okay for understanding how middleware works and doing some basic testing, for production level applications, you would want to use more robust and comprehensive monitoring tools. If you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such tutorials. If you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover in future videos, please drop a comment below. Thank you for watching and happy coding.